mending their nets, he called them. And immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Talking about following Jesus. Following Jesus. Um, let's get some definitions on tonight. When you, when you think about leadership, what, what comes to mind? When you think about leadership, what comes to your mind? And there's no right and wrong answer. When you think about leadership, what comes to your mind? Organization, good. Administration, good. Come on. Going someplace, okay, good. Influence, good, good. Influence. Vision, all right, good. Yes. Being able to follow, very good. Being able to follow, okay. So these are good things that you keep in mind. Because many times when we talk about leadership, recognize the, you know it's in the eye of the beholder so even though we have training and we watch and we follow sometimes we our definition is not accurate enough to, for us to be more effective in the area god has called us to lead so therefore what happens especially in urban cultures many times we see leadership through the eyes of position rather than what the position is for hello somebody y'all get what i'm saying so for for us the urban culture and, and, and even within African-American culture, when we see leadership as in position, we see the sense of authority, we see a sense of glamour, we see the sense of, you know, those kind of things, those attributes that comes along with it, but we don't see the work. <laughs> they don't see the work, you know. I want to be that, you know. It's good to tell somebody what to do, as long as you don't tell me what to do, <laughs> right? That kind of thing, you right? Don't do as I do, but do what I tell you, right? That kind of thing, right? You know, so we see leadership, you know, those things in mind. But what was so good now, you see, Jesus didn't do that, right? And his leadership, right? So here's now him selecting the disciples, right? And, you know, and according to the text and some reading background says, this was not Jesus' first encounter with these men. Jesus had seen them before, and there was a level of conversation. You know, and, and, you know, many times when you talk about leadership, sometimes you just... Don't always outright grab a person. Sometimes you got to spend a little bit of time with them, you know, and see where their head is at, right? You don't just, oh, by the way, I think, you know, that's what we do so when folks get saved, right? Oh, I said, so when the person gets saved, hey, you pastor or you missionary, well, let them get saved first. Hello, somebody. <laughs> you know, call them or give them a position or a title already and they ain't saved yet, right? That's the first thing we do with folks. Let them learn to live as a Christian first, you know, enjoy that living and learn what it is to be a Christian and let God do the unctioning in the spirit realm to now show them their gift. Amen? Amen. So that's the first thing to do. So, so Jesus now, again, had this conversation with these men, however it was, and then Jesus said, now it's time. And he went to each of them, and they immediately dropped their current occupation and followed him. That's amazing, right? So whatever he said was profound enough for them to stop what they were doing, leave their immediate family, and follow Jesus. That's influence. We talk about that, right? That's, 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 that's profound, right? But also, too, we must, not, we must take in consideration, too, when it comes to leadership and the sense of followership and those aspects. Uh, people are not ignorant either to what they're following, too. Don't always assume that people just follow, right? Because, you know, one of the mistakes I think we make uh, with a suggestion in our times is that when it comes to education, we, it was profound when a pro, uh, professor, actually a person who was in a convention said, you know, we're a bunch of educators, he said, you're doing a great job, excellent job, preparing students for the, for the 1960s. Y'all catch it in a minute. Right, and and sometimes when we talk about when it comes to church, we end up doing the same thing. 